My role is the high school principal. I'm over 345 students and 31, 32 staff members. And um, again, we have two different buildings. The high school is my own, own building. It's myself and my guidance counselor, and I have a receptionist, and, and, we, and we keep it rolling. So uh, how long did you teach uh, before you moved into administration? So about seven years. So I taught at uh, Cradle Elementary and then I left from there and went to um, Bluestone High School in, Virginia, in Skidwood, Virginia. I uh, taught coach there, started the wrestling program there, and then I came back to Falls Lake Academy where I was the middle school PE and the assistant athletic director. And then from there, I entered the role as high school principal after doing um, AP work and administration work at uh, Bluestone for my okay, internship. So explain the uh, setup of uh, your school and the role you play as the high school administrator. So Falls Lake Academy is uh, K-12. We serve 10, uh, 1,000, well, 1077 students from nine different counties. Um, Granville County, Durham, Wake, Vance, um, Person, Rocky Mount, um, Alamance, and a few others. And my role is the high school principal. I'm over 345 students and 31, 32 staff members. And um, again, we have two different buildings. The high school is my own, own building. It's myself and my guidance counselor, and I have a receptionist. And then, and we and we keep it rolling. It's pretty, it's pretty good. This is this will be my fifth year in August as the high school principal there. Um, we are currently ranked 15th in the state for charter schools, high school level, and 81st out of all high schools. And this data is from 1819 because of COVID. They didn't pull the new data, but once they pull the data, it'll be a lot higher because based off ACT, SAT, college acceptance, and et cetera. But pretty proud of that because we've, um, we're a new, newer high school. This will be our third graduating class coming up this year. Okay. So you worked really hard to, uh, you know, really elevate that school and, and be a part of what it's doing as a newer school. Right. What are some of the challenges like? Uh, a lot of the challenges as a new high school is just uh, making the foundations and traditions, um, just, you know, set, getting your foot set and stuff. Like the first graduating class was 2019. So, you know, planning that. Uh, all the way down to, you know, the cap and gowns, the tassels. Like I had to choose the color of the tassels, the color of the gowns. I had to create the seal of the school with the help of a board member. We created the actual crest, just building the foundation and, and the traditions that are sticking now. That was some of the challenges and just, um, you know, seeking how I wanted to run the school, being new at the time in administration, just getting my feet wet in that area, but now, I'm seasoned, so it's good to go now. So those are the challenges of a new school. Tell me about the challenges of being in education, period, especially now that um, we're having the conversation about trying to meet the needs of all students with all of their varied um, backgrounds and difficulties that they come from. What are those challenges, challenges like, and then what have they been magnified to dealing with COVID-19? So education is just a swinging pendulum. It just, it goes back and forth, you know, depending on who's in different seats. I think, you know, people are always seeking for that silver bullet in education, but it's really not a silver bullet. And we have to get away from the cookie cutter version of education. You know, the one style suits all. We have to also understand the dynamics of different kids. Uh, Sometimes a teacher has a kid, a class of 25 and they, you know, they discipline certain kids based on, you know, them sleeping in class or not paying attention, but not knowing that the kid might have been up all night with their brothers and sisters or, uh, you know, absence of parents at home raising families, you know, just taking that into aspect. I think with COVID-19, it's a pinnacle point because we can actually take education from the 20th century into the 21st century as far as, um, the, the way that the curriculum is delivered, because right now education is kind of set up on the 
factory system of, you know, the bell rings, you move, you get rewarded for, you know, not being loud or not talking, you get those rewards. Whereas, you know, you need to be a lot of collaborating and working together using Bloom's ta taxonomy of, uh, you know, the create pinnacle of, of that pyramid, creating stuff, working together to create and solve problems. That is what education needs to get to, not more so as you regurgitate this information on the test and you move on and then, you know, you get in the real world and then you don't know how to write a check or write in cursive. So those are different areas that we need to hit on the basics.